Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator of Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you today. Uh, I haven't done any recaps for the past week uh, because I've been traveling. Uh, it was my uh, birthday, I turned 40 over the week, we took a trip to New York City, actually had a big BBT meetup there, had over 100 people show up at the Three Monkeys Bar. We had an absolute blast. Thank you for everybody who came. It was so much fun. Hopefully next time we do this, I can have, um, you know, even more of you all can show up. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a, st a trade I took on NEO today, um, a really nice trade. I also took a trade on space as well. Um, you can hear I have Andrew and Brian in the background. I'm gonna turn them down for a second just while we talk. So um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about NEO and how to play catalysts, um, especially fresh news. So a lot of the times for our newer traders, you hear something like NEO today, um, which has already had some decent catalysts, but it also got upgraded um, today by HSBC Bank up to $69. This upgrade is very good. Um, and, and people, you know, generically like that. So what's often something we'll do is we'll rush right in and try and basically buy the open, um, just assuming that the stock is just going to run. Now, um, before I go on and show you the stock, if you have a chance, please um, throw me a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. I'd really appreciate it. That'll certainly help. So to understand exactly what's going on here, as you can see, I have my Neo trade here. Um, to understand exactly what's going on, we need to talk a little bit about the market making process and how that works. Market makers do not have an indefinite amount of supply, um, supply available. They need to warehouse positions. So when stocks get upgrades, it often takes a little bit of time before the, you see the upward movement from that. Hence the sayings, buy the rumor, sell the news. Right, because what happens is when the news comes out, the market maker needs to start to warehouse. And because of that, they're often going to have to drop the price in order to do that. They just, unless there's some kind of a delta squeeze or some kind of unusual situation coming for a market maker is not going to pay top dollar for the shares they're about to distribute. Right, so, and what this happens is this creates bull traps, right? So in the beginning, you'll see, you'll see a, a little bit of dead volume as they kind of wait to see who's gonna come and where, and then they'll pop the price really hard on high volume and try and trap as many longs in as possible. And then they'll start a sell-off. And in that process, they'll shake people out of their positions, um, especially longs from prior sessions, and that'll give them the ability to accumulate and warehouse stock. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things here. First, I just wanna show this just so you know when you're in the BBT room, we, we talk about this stuff um, straightforward. You can see right here, I'm gonna drag this in. I said, be mindful of the trap on NEO, y'all. It's already opening high in its range, might need to sell off to let the market maker accumulate, right? So I, I'm, I'm quite literally calling that out. Um, and as you can see here, what I talked about is we had this low volume hammer, uh, low volume upside hammer, and then boom, 1.3 million shares to the top side, right to R3, that's stuffed. So I went short at VWAP on that using the high of my candle and got a really nice push down, good partials. And I, as you can still see here, when it squeezed back up on low volume, I added into my short with the loss of VWAP. Um, and have been enjoying a really nice move down. If you look um, my five minute chart, which is slightly below, you can see down here that I have um, a, a range order set for my final 20% uh, at 45, which sits just above a major value area um, from the prior session. We also just lost yesterday's close um, which makes me feel a lot better about holding this position. So right now, unless there's some massive unusual um, spike in volume, it'll go down. Now, just for a little bonus addition, um, while we're waiting here, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about level two. Notice how NEO sold off and it held at this level. If you were looking at the level two, you really wouldn't have seen why it was buying, but I noticed something was going on, so I went to my buddy Mark Seattle, who has book map, and I asked him to run me a book map of what's going on on, on NEO. So if you notice on NEO, look here, what was down here at 4660. A huge amount of liquidity here, right? These are short sellers putting out profit targets, and notice that liquidity didn't come on till about right here. So that's when a short seller, somewhere from earlier in the session, started putting shares out. And as they got more involved, 
that started to build there. Now notice down here at 45, really big pocket of liquidity, right? This is what I'm trading for, for my, my R3 to S3 Traverse that I'm using on my, my pivots. So it's always really, really important to keep an eye on where the liquidity is because if a market maker needs to make markets and they need to accumulate stock, they're gonna go to the large pools of liquidity in order to perform those transactions. If you come back out here and you look on my level two, you'll notice I still have liquidity down at 45.25. We already know because of book map, we've got it at 45. So I'm just hanging on now to see if we can get this move back to 45. Any major volume sp spike or high volume rally that gets me back above VWAP, I'm gonna cut my position. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep hanging on and I'm just gonna leave this range order in to see if we can, we can realize this full swing, right? I do intraday swinging, so I'm really looking for a long move from one extreme to the other, and that would be just about right. Once we get down to around S3, because of prior accumulation areas, look back here, Neo from yesterday, I would expect us to hold up and maybe bounce from here. But since I've got good bid to the downside, I'm confidently holding on this thing unless something tells me it's time to get completely out of my position. So anyway, little recap for you guys today. I tried to put a bunch in there since I haven't done a lot. Little L2, little book map, little market making knowledge. Any questions that you have or you know any other things that you wanna talk about, feel free to uh, comment below. The more interaction I get from you all, the more likes, the more um, you know subscribers we generate, the more participation I get in the comments, the better we trend, the more BBT is going to want me to focus more on making these videos for YouTube instead of making webinars for behind the paywall. So I hope everybody had a great trading day. I hope you had a great trading week. Um, we'll look forward to seeing everybody on next week. And as always, y'all, keep it green. Thanks.